Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Codus Arcade. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the fundamentals of programming in Java. We will look at variables and constants, primitive and reference types, then we will go on to casting or type conversion, then we will learn about how to work with numbers, string and arrays, then finally we will read input from the user or we will learn how to read input from the user. So before getting started, I would like to request you people to please like and share our videos with your friends and family and also subscribe to our channel Codus Arcade and press the bell icon so that you get notifications regarding our latest updates. Thank you. So let's get started with variables first. So what are variables? Variables are used to temporarily store data in computer's memory. Let me go to my editor. So here is my editor. This is the earlier program that I had. Here I showed you how to print a string on your console. I showed you how to print hello world and then I used our channel's name Chorus Arcade and you saw the output. So now let us talk about variables. As I said, variables are used to temporarily store data into the computer's memory. Imagine you have to store your roll number in the computer memory. So how will you do that? I will show you. First, you have to declare the type of the variable. Here I am taking the int or the integer data type. Now you have to assign a name to the variable. Let me give my roll number is equal to say 10 and followed by a semicolon. So now, if I want to print this, what I have to do is, I will just delete this and here I will write my roll number. So in this way, I can print it. I will show you by running it. This is the run button. I will just click on this. And as you can see, it's building my program. Now it's here you can see this is the output 10. So what if you have to update the value of the variable? You can also do that. I will show you, you just have to write my roll number is equal to suppose 20, then semicolon. And in this way, you can update the variable value. So if I print it now, the output will be not 10, it will be 20. I'm running it. And here you can see the output is 20. So what if you want to assign more than one variable? I will show you, you just have to change this semicolon and give a comma here and suppose you want to take a variable quantity is equal to suppose 100 then you have to give the semicolon this is a way to declare variables multiple variables in a single line but this is not a good practice what I suggest is that you give a semicolon here and take this variable to the next line and declare it like this so this is the best way of declaring variables. And now let me tell you how to store the value of one variable into another. You can also do that. I will show you how. I will just delete this lines of code and I will show you. Let me just write it again. Int my roll number is equal to say 10 only. And here. I will write her roll number is equal to my roll number and then I will give the semicolon but you can see there is an error because in this variable also I have to declare the type so it should be int now it's correct so in this way you can store the value of one variable into another now here, if I type her roll number and then if I run this, you will see that the value 10 has been stored in this variable, her roll number. Let me run it for you. Yeah, you can see that when I try to print her roll number, it is giving me the value 10, which is actually the value stored in the earlier variable, which is my roll number. 
Now let me tell you one more thing. You can see carefully the convention in which I have named my variable. It is the camel case convention which I already explained in my earlier video. The first letter of each word should be capital letter except for the first word. You can see it starts with small m, my, then all the other words should be in capital letters, r, and you can see the n also. So this is the basic example of declaring variables and I want to tell you one more thing. Here you can see uh, this int is the integer data type and this is actually the type of the variable and this is the name of the variable. It is also known as the identifier and this equal sign, this is the assignment operator which is used to assign this value 10 to this variable. So this is an initial value which can also be updated as I showed you. So this is how you declare variables in Java.